Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona and Ghost Riders here. The Bib Front Shirt. Let's check it out. Nice outfit. Thanks. One of the most recognizable men's shirts in the Old West period is the bib. It also goes by shield front and fireman shirt. I'll clear up some of this confusion as we go along. I wish you would. In 1858, a series of hand-painted lithographs published by Courier and Ives depicts a fireman doing what he does best. The red gabardine wool shirt he's wearing exudes strength and confidence. But this garment didn't just look good. Wool is the most flame-resistant fabric, so it makes sense they would wear it. This style of shirt was adopted by the working class and saw use during the Civil War. Why was it so popular? Well, the bib added extra protection from wind and inclement weather. That stylish layer was removable and could be washed. While it was drying, you could still wear the pullover shirt underneath. That buttoned-up bib was also handy for stashing a pouch of tobacco. It was also known as a shield front because the bib resembled the shape of a shield. Some bibs were narrow or short, and others covered almost the entire front of the shirt. Now, these could be made of wool or cotton, and the most common colors available through catalogs were blue and red. The authenticated tintype of Billy the Kid shows him wearing a bib front shirt. This has an anchor embroidered on it. At Old Tucson this season, we have an actor playing Billy the Kid, and I assisted the wardrobe department on figuring out Billy's outfit. Why an anchor? Hey, Renee. Hey, John. What's with the anchor? I know. I what's with it. the anchor? I don't what's... know. Let's find out. I'm going to find this Let's out. Let's find out. It wasn't a naval shirt. The anchor was a symbol of Christian stability, so maybe it was that? After finding a bunch of photos depicting the shirt with an anchor, I also found it in an 1883 catalog and determined it was probably just a design choice. Well, there were a lot of them. Cats chasing birds, flowers, and other fun embroideries. Hey, Hi this there. is Daniel, and he's playing Billy the Kid. That's right. Cool. Hey, I got a question for you. Yes, um, can you tell me why you have an anchor on your shirt? I have an anchor on my shirt. Yeah, that's a, that's an anchor. Is that what that is? That's it. Yeah. yeah. I've been looking at that, but it looks like an arrow from my perspective. Kind of does look like an arrow. You're right. It's a, anchor. No, it's an anchor. So you don't know why you have an anchor on your shirt. No, I just stole this shirt off a dead body yesterday, so I haven't really done my homework on it yet. You really are Billy the Kid. I love it. Yeah, in the flesh. Late in the period, this shirt symbolizes the frontier, and we see it worn by performers in Wild West shows and even the famous Dodge City Cowboy Band. I personally think the garment displays a bit of bravado. Although so many screen actors have worn this type of shirt, it really is iconic in a lot of John Wayne's films. Yep, he did that cool thing with unbuttoning a part of the bib and letting it flap down. This severely changes the look of this clothing and gives us men that rakish quality. Hey, chicks dig it. The fireman shirt is reproduced today from original patterns. They're available from many Old West clothiers, and I'll put links in the description field below. Well. Bye. Rakish. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. Hey, Renee, what's with the anchor? 
You don't know? What am I supposed to say? What's with the anchor? I'll just say what's with the yeah. anchor. Yeah.